Hey guys, welcome to Family Fun Pack. I am in Chris and Zach's room and we have some really important news. It is the night before their first day back at school. Yep. Not homeschool. We've been doing school, but it's not gonna be homeschool starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've been to school. What are you guys thinking about that? I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. I just haven't been to school in a while, so I'm not even gonna like know what to do. Yeah, what are you nervous about? Anything? Math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to hear how your day is gonna be. I don't even know. Like, I don't know if you're gonna do PE or like recess or like what it's gonna I, be I like. Really you guys like PE? Yeah. yeah. I see you have your outfits set out. Yeah, Looks like that's the outfit right there for Chris. And then Zach, yours is right here. Are you gonna wear the necklace, Zach? And the yeah, and the watch. And the watch. Nice. The There's his backpack. You can if you want to. For now, let's go to sleep because you guys need to get some good sleep. Yeah. But try to sleep. I know it could be hard because you're probably very excited. Yeah, I am. It's going to be a good day tomorrow. I'm excited for you guys. Before we leave, I have to show you we did back to school shop two days ago. We are back to school shopping because why we're going back to school. Yeah. Kind of excited about this. Oh, good. First stop. Keep ourselves healthy. <laughs> you both like the blue one? This one's too Let's check. We found one large and we have one medium, so we're trying them both on. I mean, it technically does fit. That's the medium? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how Chris's looks, though. Hmm. Tricky, tricky decision. There is this one we could get, too. Oh, you're really shopping, Zach. You look like a professional. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Johnny, you think this will fit you? Look at this one. That's how mom's Zach? I don't think so. Oh, that looks nice. Do you both like them? Yeah. We have two of every shirt for them. Two pairs of shorts, two brand new shoes. We are ready. Good night. Do you think the mat's gonna be hard? Well, I don't know. Hopefully it's right on your level. What? <laughs> okay, good night. Love you guys. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Guys, it's time for school. It's time to go outside and play for you two. Got a water bottle. Looking so handsome. Oh, you look good. Don't forget your lunch. Did you get that out? Oh, yeah. Actually, do you want to get all the lunches out? Oh, yeah, sure. Because I think we got to grab them all anyway. <laughs> oh, and here's Zach. Looking very, very handsome also. Are you looking for your lunch? Yeah. It's up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you do need to get your water bottle. Yeah, there's a music class. I I don't know. Michael said that they have songs. That someone plays the guitar. So yeah, there's Owen. Yes. No, which one's yours? Do you remember? No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, we forgot. Where's your water bottle, Owen? This is your lunch kit right here. 
Oh, there's Zach's new backpack. We've, we're wearing it inside out. You could wear this backpack two ways. Yeah. And we put it inside out because you thought it looked cooler. Here's Chris's backpack. His is a clear backpack. We thought it looked pretty cool, so this is the one he's gonna use. Hopefully it's a good one. There's not much in it for now, but it works. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's put on your backpacks. We will head out. Sounds like you guys are looking forward to the music class. Yeah. Michael said on his first music class, he was gonna request a Queen song. So maybe you guys can do the same. Or maybe one of the weeks you guys could bring a ukulele or something and play along. That'd be cool, yeah. I have to get Owen ready too. I love you. I love you too. How do those shoes fit? Do they fit you? Oh, they look great. Good. Those shoes used to belong to Chris and Zach. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're yours. They fit you really well. I was worried. That I forgot to take them out of the closet and they'd be too small, but it looks like they fit you really good. Yeah. Are you gonna play some sports in them? Oh, yeah. Michael, are you ready for school? Okay. Michael, you need to hurry because it looks like you're laying on your shirt that's for school. Um, yeah. Michael, let's go. We have to leave. Oh, there goes Michael. <laughs> You guys ready? Yep. Where's Michael? Michael, are you coming? Here's Michael. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I think you're gonna have a great day. I'm so excited for you guys. I, I love you. Mm. I'll see you after school. Bye, and then back to come walk outside. You want me to come? Okay. Since you unbuckled me, I'm coming with you. Does that mean I'm going to school too? Yeah. You <laughs> silly. We're back home. I have showered, gone to the chiropractor, done some errands and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it is so quiet here because Chloe's asleep and Alyssa and David are doing their homework right now. Even the dogs are asleep. Oh, Hannah's awake. <laughs> it is so quiet though with everybody gone. Chloe's playing. David's over there learning about American government. We're in the car heading to pick up Zach, Chris, and Michael from school. I'm so excited to hear how they did. We definitely missed them. It was definitely quiet around the house, but I'm excited because I think this is just going to be such a great opportunity for them. Okay, we got them from school. How it was, was it, guys? so fun. Like my favorite school I've been to so far. We're already really? friends with all the kids. Oh, good. And, yeah, we're, we played like an hour of soccer at recess. Yeah, I was sweating so much. I know, we were like oh. so So you guys so got to go out, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it was Chris and I versus probably like 15 other kids there. <laughs> all probably, were all you guys like, like the leaders seven, of all the small yeah, people? Yeah, we were probably like <laughs> seven to like 11, or no, seven to like 12 probably. And, and we were like the captains of the team and we were destroying them, it was it so was funny. Fun. What'd you guys do in class? How was? Oh, it was did you play with Michael, by the way? Was Michael um, out there? I, I no, didn't we're in really different see classes, him. but we were there with him at recess. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. So when you guys are all outside, you guys get to see Michael? Yeah, we were playing soccer together. Oh, yeah. good. And yeah, our class was really fun. Like our teacher, she's really nice. And yeah, yeah I'm, I sit behind one of my friends. And oh, good. Then, so we're next to each other and yeah, it's so fun. Michael, tell me about your day. Yeah. I already feel like a best friend to some of the kids there because they're really nice. Oh, good. So you said there's two girls in the class and all the rest are boys, huh? Yes. Awesome. Which made the class better and more wild. <laughs> oh, more wild? Oh, great. <laughs> so you added to the boys, that's for sure. Yeah. What was the best thing for you guys, Zach and Chris? Um, probably the recess is really fun. Yeah. So playing with other kids? Yeah. And the lunch and stuff. 
Oh, the good lunch I made you. Yeah. What did you guys do as far as learning? What subjects did you work on? Well, we did math, we did, and we did some reading. We did history, math, we did some cursive, and tomorrow. Oh, good. Were you guys good at cursive? Because we practiced that a lot. Yeah. Good. Tomorrow we have PE. Oh, good. Yeah. We did, um, my class did PE today. Oh, did you? What did you do for PE? Um, we did like, Probably like 30 minutes of soccer. Oh my gosh, so much soccer. <laughs> yeah, you guys look sweaty, Zach. You look sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Like my face was literally red. It was crazy. How's your teacher? She's, She's really nice. nice. Good. And She's Michael, nice. your teacher, how's that going? She's nice also. Good. One more question. Did you guys get in trouble today? No. Well, Zach did like really annoy the teacher. He had to go to what? He had to go to the principal's office right by What? Minutes. I didn't. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I was going to be like, what? <laughs> you imagine the first day of school going to the principal's office? I know. I would be like, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> so, first day of school for two more kids today. This is exciting. We have four kids in school. I guess we've had that before. We've had five kids in a school. Yeah, it wasn't it's been a while school. though. Yeah. We've always had our littlest ones do it, but we haven't always had the older ones do it. So now we have Alyssa and David doing stuff at home and online. And then everybody else is going in person with Zach, Chris, and Michael at the same school. And then Owen is at a different school that's a private school because the teacher there is too awesome not for us to go there. We love her. She loves Owen. It's just such a good place for him. But, um, I think we were going to answer a couple of questions in case you guys had any questions about like the schooling because I guess what happened was we went to Michael's open house. I did. And it was back to school night, I guess. And he was at soccer with David there at a away game. So I went and I was talking to this mom and she's like, Oh yeah. Like my other kid goes here. I started saying like, Oh, well, how do you like, like the first grade class? How do you like the second grade class? And she was telling me all about that. And then she mentioned, sixth or seventh grade and how their their class is so great and i was like wait 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 wait, seventh grade wait how high does this school go up and then she's like telling me it goes up to eighth grade and for some reason we thought it ended at sixth grade mm -hmm. or fifth grade even we weren't sure so i don't know how we got a lot of the printed stuff that. says that like, yeah i guess the printed so. material he had sent had been sent home with yeah. him didn't mention the upper grades so I was like, hold on a sec. So at back to school and I, I saw the principal and I was like, hey, I had a question. I was wondering, do you guys want a couple more big kids at your school? Like, do you have room for any seventh or eighth graders? And she was like, yeah, we totally do. And I said, okay, great. So we picked up the registration forms. We filled it out. She's like, you guys can start Monday. And this was Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then Friday we turned it in and she said we could start that very next week. So we were excited. I was so excited when I was driving home. I couldn't wait to call Matt and tell him. I mean, we do kind of call each other yeah, every time. You texted time. me something. Like, wait, yeah. What? I think I call Matt school. every single time I'm in the car. And she does. I do. Like, I don't think I can drive anywhere without being on the phone. Let me see your shirt because you look so nice in that. Look how nice. I just got it like a couple days yes. ago. I was back to school shopping with Zach and Chris, um, like you saw. But they had everything on like last act at Macy's, which is, you know, you can't return it, but if you know you're gonna keep it, who cares? And it was like five, six or seven dollars for almost every shirt. It was such a good deal. So I saw this one for him and I'm like, I'm gonna get that. It's I got so many things for a good deal. It kind of paid that we back to school shopped mm -hmm. way later in the season, mid-September, because everything was on sale. So and we don't like ever wear long sleeve shirts. We never wear them around here. So Having short sleeve shirts all year round is perfect for us. So anyway, that's where we're at. We signed Zach and Chris up for the school. Obviously they liked it, which I'm really happy about. I just think it'll be good for them. I really wanted them to have some opportunities to make friends and have someone else teaching them besides us. Not that we don't have a good time teaching and doing school. Like it's always fine. It's not the situation where people are like mad and it's like this horrible school situation. We just thought it would be good for them to just have a different person teaching them oh, just yeah. for the experience making friends and playing soccer with like yes. 20 people it's... just the experience of like doing school but for us finding mm -hmm. that school that works for us with our schedule it's been a really big challenge mm -hmm. so finding that is kind of a good thing for us so hopefully they can go to that school at least one or two more years you know we'll see what the, what the principal says how long they can stay but if everything keeps going well there we'd love to keep them there so yeah. Oh, it's good. 
Tonight we have a little more back to school shopping we have to do because I guess I need like a bunch of folders which I didn't have and calculators and all that kind of stuff that we don't always need. So we're gonna do that. And then I actually ordered them a new lunchbox because the ones I have bought for them are way too small. These are, where's your lunchbox? Do you guys have them? Oh yeah, they have these ones, but they're just kind of small. They don't really fit a lot in them. They have space for like a sandwich and then like two little compartments and I don't know, I don't think that's very much space. So the one Michael has, I like a lot more. It's a lot bigger and you can fit a full sandwich in there easier than you can in that one. So that is something I ordered. Yeah, that's Michael's. His is a lot bigger. Did you eat all your lunch? Seems like you left something. What'd you leave in there? I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's crackers? Let me see. And muffins and like... Oh, the muffins! Oh, I see the muffins I got. You better eat those muffins. <laughs> I ate every ounce of it. See? Good. I saw one thing left in there. Was it a fruit strip? You guys didn't like that? No, well, I ate mine. Okay, good. we got to get back in the swing of making lunches rather than just eating at home. Because at home, we'll just be like, let me make you a grilled cheese and like, let's cut an apple. But I don't like yeah, to cut apples because they turn brown. This Oh, if it falls on the floor, you can put it in the trash. <laughs> all right, well now we are in the parking lot waiting for Owen to get out of school because he actually gets out a half hour later than all these guys. So we'll pick him up, we'll let him say hi to you guys, and then we'll probably say goodbye for the day. Seems like you two really missed your phones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went on a scavenger hunt? Yeah. Is it fun that you get picked up with everybody else now, Owen? You get to see almost all your brothers now after school. Yeah, yeah David's at home. You gonna buckle in back there? Owen's yeah. in the back row. I love your scavenger hunt artwork, Owen. Yeah. It's so nice. We went outside and we got a bunch of these different kinds of these. We had partners and we put them in a bag and we went back inside and we glued them on it and when we were filled up with our paper, we throw the whole bag in the trash so we get to keep one of the leaves. Wow, well you did a good job on your leaves. Yeah, and one really of nice. my friends um, sat by me and he had a really soft leaf. Oh wow. Two of my friends actually. And I see the one that had is Going out of school right now, I could see him. You could see your I friend? think it's the same Oh, I see your friend. Yeah. Are you going to buckle? I thought you were going to buckle. Oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, buckle. All right, go buckle so we can drive. Michael just shared some news with me. We need to tell everybody. What was it? I got a hundred on my spelling test. Good job, Michael. Um, That's what I like to hear. Look at that. I see that. Nice job. The spelling score, and then there's three bonus words. And I got. 23. You got the extra credit. Good job, Michael. Yeah. And then I also got um, this. 100% on the grammar. Good. Nice work. And there's the bonus words. Nice job. I am proud of you. First test and you got 100%. Hold on, there's more. Michael just told me there's another kind of test where you write a word on your whiteboard. It's basically the same thing as this. It's the same word, so it's like practice, basically. Uh -huh. So she tells you a word, and you have to write it down on your whiteboard. Um, and the goal is basically just to get it correct. Um, and I was like the only one in the class who got every word correct. Wow. Well, that is amazing. Very good. Yeah. Another great piece of news is Chris and Zach's teacher doesn't give homework unless they don't finish something in class. And Chris said there was a lot of Chris, so he didn't finish all of it, but he's just got a little bit to do at home. And no homework is great in my book. I, I like truly think that if you can't learn it all in school when you're there all day long, what are you doing? There shouldn't really need to be like hours of homework after school. And that's my opinion. Not everyone agrees, but that's how I feel. Anyway. I am going to say goodbye for now, and we will see you in our next vlog. Thank you so much for watching us. Bye.